Hello, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Steve Gearhart, and welcome to the Unagi Observer. Towson's Best. That's not exactly the most original name for a Chinese restaurant, but that's what this place is called. I really like this place. Uh, when you are talking about Chinese food, when I say Chinese food, I mean food that has been taken from China but changed so that it would be more palatable for Americans. Uh, so when you're talking about a Chinese restaurant, a good Chinese restaurant in the Baltimore area, Towson's Best is one of the best places to go to. Towson is located just north of Baltimore and it's about from my neighborhood where I'm in the heart of Baltimore. It takes about 10 minutes to get to. The restaurant, as I said, serves Chinese cuisine. It has a very, very friendly atmosphere. Uh, every time we go in, there's they're very pleasant hello, very attentive, and they make sure that everything's just right for you. Great service. The food matches the service. It's really good stuff. They do have a sushi menu, and it takes up an actual panel of their menu, but if you're going to go to this place, you're going to go there for the Chinese food, not the sushi. Sushi's good, but, you know, really, it's about the Chinese food. The dish I had is called Sha Cha Beef. It's actually, you can substitute the beef for chicken or, or seafood or anything else, but I usually like it with beef. And the sa cha sauce itself is kind of a brownish sauce with a lot of different spices in it. I can't even tell you what's in there. All I can tell you is that it tastes good and it smells good. Now, the big difference between the cha cha beef of Towson's Best and any other Chinese restaurant that I've been to is, is very simple. The cha cha sauce is not made for the American palate. This is the traditional way to make it. It's a bit spicy, it smells good, and it's more liquid so that when you stir your beef and your vegetables in this dish and then you put on of course white rice you're getting a lot of good flavors. It's a lighter meal. Other places make the cha cha sauce. I think they put MSG or whatever it is that they put in there to make it really thick and heavy. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but if you're a person who doesn't like to have something sit in their stomach for five hours, this is the better way to go. Uh, so Towson Best. One Chinese food, you're in the Baltimore area. What you want to do is you want to go to 527 York Road. It's right on the traffic circle, right across from the Towson Mall. Okay, go there, enjoy it. All right. Okay, here is Otakon convention, anime convention tip number one. We're going to talk about the pre-registration line. Now, they say it on the website, and I'm going to tell it to you. Some of you will listen, some of you won't. You don't need to be the first in line. Uh, you don't, you don't, unless you're one of those people who enjoys camping out and being, hey, I'm the first guy in line. If that's you, then that's you, and you're hopeless. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, you're not hopeless. You're, you're, you're fine. You're a fanboy. Um, but it does get hot. It is during the summer, so it does get hot. You're in the city, so things are a little amplified. By that, I mean bring some frickin' water. Every year, some poor schlub dressed up in his costume in the pre-registration line keels over like as if he were dead, like he had a massive heart attack and just died right there. Really, he's just dehydrated because he didn't think to bring water. So, bring water. Hydrate yourself. And showing up drunk is probably not the best thing to do. It's just not a good thing. It's hot. You're just going to make yourself miserable. And by the time you get inside and get your pass, you're ready to pass out. Okay. The pre-registration line at Otakon is long, but it moves. I normally, myself, do not go down there until about 5 o'clock. The line is pretty long. I bring my camera. I make my pictures, I, I show a little bit of, I shoot some movies, and then I put it together and I put it, put it to music for that evening on YouTube. I'll be doing the same thing this year. And it does, like I said, it does move. The most I think I've ever waited is an hour, which is really not too bad. Now, you can go even later if you want, and there'll be a much shorter line. You'll get there much more quickly. But if you treat this as kind of an event like I do, well, you kind of want to maximize your time because you really see some interesting stuff. Um, 
like this guy the creature feature preacher enjoy <laughs>